Okay. Oh. Hello, all. Sphere, red sphere here. Specifically, only after the red. Um, brief note. They're um, members with a sphere in the name, like the subsystems. And I, Annie after the round, am a member of the Red Sphere subsystem. Um, either name work for me um, as identifiers, although, of course, Red Sphere might give you other people within the subsystem. Um, yeah. And we as the subsystem are hoping to do uh, an introductory video sometime soon. Um, can't guarantee that, of course, and uh, but do check the description if you're watching this in the future, as there might actually just be a link there. So yeah, um, okay. So this week's video is on demonic headmates within TBMC. Um, information can probably be extrapolated somewhat to. Um, other religion, uh, cultural backgrounds, however, without experience, um, you know, I'm not going to say that's definitely true, and, um, obviously, content warnings for TBMC, and a reasonably heavy focus on talk of a more religious nature, you know, um, okay, so, why are demonic entities added to a system it's um various reasons um uh, one common one is that the perceived inherent immorality makes it easier to form headmates who are willing to act as internal controllers which is of course you know beneficial and uh benefited also by the often relatively high internal power that such headmates will have. Um, another benefit is that for external immoral tasks, it's easier to convince those who are in such a position to perform them. And they can reduce the trust of um, safe lifers in other headmates which makes cooperation and healing harder um, and can help convince headmates that there is no pepper hope of them being good pepper people which weakens the ability to fight back and attempt to escape um, additionally the experience that's linked with demonic headmates often can serve to make survivors appear pepper, psychotic, or otherwise untrustworthy in their actions. Um, and recollections, which limits the ability to speak pepper out and heal, or receive appropriate medical pepper help. So may well end up stuck on antipsychotics, which suppress the system, do nothing till the trauma. Anyway, of course, it's possible for survivors to legitimately need antipsychotics, and in those instances, I, I certainly wouldn't recommend dropping them. Um, but there's not enough experience. There's not enough experience here to say for certain on that. But you know, it is of course possible to need them. In which case continue taking them probably you know obviously you know it's your your body your medication make the call as you see fit but useful medication is useful to keep taking <laughs> okay um okay so uh demonic headmates oh Formed often through ritual pepper summonings, um, which will always require some form of sacrifice. And the level of sacrifice will depend on the apparent power of the one being summoned often. Although, 
will also vary between different organizations and rituals. But, um, and then either the summoning will lead to the formation of a pact, which is what we'll talk about, I'm talking about here. Um, oh, fuck. Okay, so pacts are formed when a um, demon, in quotations, will be summoned in a salt pep circle uh, to protect the summoners and especially and the apparent and the victim these you know so that a deal can be apparently safely struck of course you know it's not that simple but that's the idea here or the apparent idea um and these deals will often come in the form of some sort of power either in or out of world in return for services or they can be in return for occasionally the um more, a more pleasant after pepper life which you know similar the basic fundamentals are you get something in return for doing horrible things and the important thing to remember here is that those making those pacts are not in a position to refuse or to not take them and are effectively being forced into doing things that they would not normally do. And if you are one of those people, do remember that, um, yes, you may have demons in the world, you may have seen demons out world even, those are not true demons, they have out world, certainly there is no such thing as a demon in that sense. There is no way in which that you can be hurt and armed by them, out of world, they don't exist. They're all people like me putting on a show. You know, I should know. I've put on that show. I'm not proud of it, but it happened, you know. There were reasons I had, I did so, and at the time it was keeping the body safe, but you know doesn't mean I have to be proud or happy <laughs> of those actions, you know. So, yes, it is a lie. And those bargains, there is nothing coming to you in any after pepper life if you do not hold up those bargains. I don't even believe there is an afterlife, of course. That's up to you whether or not you believe in one, but we do not. Okay. And the other major one is um, possession. So um, this will generally involve a more involved summoning pepper ritual with often two binding pepper circles with the victim between the two. Now, setups to allow this to happen can include all summonings using that same layout, or it can be under the justification of summoning a more pepper powerful demon, as long as there is some justification for the two layers of protect of pepper protection <sighs> anyway um okay right the initial binding pepper circle will fail this will lead to um the 
demon being loosed upon those who are um the on the victim and then a possession pepper ritual will take place which will almost inevitably include some horrific traumatic act being ta taking place with regards to the victim often um things like oh a pepper pe or um other things of that nature all near pepper death experiences are common um the dual pepper circles are used to provide extra protection for the um non victims in this instance by um by um you know stopping others the demon getting further um, and but in those situations that we were mentioning um the uh, force a pepper split and then in that situation especially given the ability to pre-pepper prime the victim the split is likely to take on the identity of that demon especially when enacted properly and properly is not the right word but it's the word i have um yeah fuck okay um there was more to cover but um this has been exhausting to do already so um try and get the rest done in a couple of weeks time um so yeah there should be at least one other part in a couple of weeks which will be in the same playlist and link below as well okay this system signing out hope to catch you all next week please do remember to like subscribe comment especially if you've got any questions you want answered be happy to answer them either in the comments or in another video so catch you all next week